Hi everyone, today I want to share with you this metallic watercolor set that I have ordered on Amazon and it was on Prime so I think it only took like two days uh, because I was ordering it late in the night. <clears throat> So, the main reason why I ordered this set was because of these two colors, especially this one. So this is their rose gold, which is a very unique color to find um, in, in other brands. So what I will do today is I will uh, switch them out and also um, compare a couple of colors to the fine tech so the first ever watercolor set that is metallic that i've ordered um, is this one so this is the six gold colors one of them is actually silver and um the the names are tibet gold inca gold arabic gold gold pearl moon gold and sterling gold so they're very beautiful, very high quality. These are handmade and you can remove them like that and replace them. You can. So that's that. Now, looking at these colors, um, the only one without obviously swatching, but just looking at the pigment kind of thing is this one that sort of looks similar to it. Let me show you a close up. So that's a potential similar color and that would be the gold pearl. Now I'm really interested in seeing whether as a swatch it would look the same or not. So we'll do that one. And from this palette, which is unfortunately, the only thing that it says here is that it's M1200. And I think this one is M600 color row and this is fine deck. Here is the thing, um, this is a smaller palette as you can see, the pigment is probably, it's hard to say exactly but it looks like half size of the pens and you cannot replace these ones. So there are part, the plastic is part of the palette and once you're done with this little um, cake, I guess that is it really. Um, the one color that I am interested in swatching from this palette would be this one. Okay, so let's start with the packaging first. So this is how it comes. It comes in a, it's very lightweight. It comes in a sleeve that you can pull out like that. And then you have this protective plastic um, cover that potentially you could use as a tray, as a mixing tray. The names are set at the back. So the first one is copper. Then we have rose gold, which is just stunning. It's like a beautiful makeup color. It's it would be it would make a stunning um, lip lipstick color or like um, highlighter or um, cheek stain or even a um, eyeshadow. It's just beautiful. Um, then we have bronze yellow gold, light gold and silver. So silver is never something I am interested in because, you know, as an example here, you can hardly see it on paper, on white paper. It would be great to add as an accent, as an accent on maybe darker watercolor uh, illustration or dark paper, but personally it's no use for me because it's something I don't do. So that's the color. I care least about but these are gorgeous and to be honest with you I knew that these were the two main colors that I was um, inter interested in when ordering and I thought these might be very similar to what I already have but actually um, no so <clears throat> they are not um, this color is very unique the bronze um, the bronze from fine tag looks like this so it's very different and then the the gold is the one that we will check out and then this other gold again nothing like it in here at all so let's go ahead and look at the actual pans as well so um similarly as you can replace and remove these ones you can actually i don't know if you can buy them separately but um, you can take them out, which makes it quite um, quite a neat thing because if you like to work 
on like a journal you could just pull out your journal you could stick the pen right onto the journal and work that way or you could hold it and with the other hand hold the brush and just use it that way so it makes it more tactile um, that way also the fact that it's such a large pan um, makes it good to use with large um, brushes now the other thing I want to tell you about is although the um, pan is obviously quite big if I just compare a um, half size and a full size to this so you understand what I mean okay so here's my schminke and I don't know which one shall I take out these are not easy to take out actually um, let me see let me take out this one here at the end okay so I've got a half pan here if I hold it next to it you can see how tiny it is so but here is the thing so the height is like that comparing the two together um, however the schminke is filled right to the top of it here however you can see that the pigment is actually starting right here so let me show you a full pan so here is a full pan now these are the white knights paints but they're pretty standard so this is the full pan and it sort of looks like you could get maybe two and a half um, in in that but again these are filled right to the top whereas this one isn't. So now let's look um, at how much pigment there might actually be because when I look against um, the window, so where the light source is, what I can see is that the pigment is starting where I'm holding my nail right here. Okay, let me do it with a dark brush. So this is the thickness of the base right there. So this is the thickness of the base okay and then we have um, as you can see this is how deep the actual pigment is from the side of it I can you can see like that so I'd say about this much right is where it starts so in fact roughly you get as much pigment as the thickness of this brush in there although the actual pan is quite thick or the 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 side of it so you you aren't really getting uh, that much i don't think um but that's just to to let you know now let's start with swatching and then later comparing them to the couple of the fine tech colors okay i'm going to use my cuddy papers i think i'm going to put music on for you so you can look at these beautiful pigments and I'll try to zoom in a little bit more and then at the end we'll catch up. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right then I'm I'll be fine, but I get up, I always do, I never think, I always do, never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool, but if I fall, I would get up again. that you can see the difference that in fact actually the fine tech seem to be quite streaky and I don't remember it being the case because the swatches here are beautiful but I think I might have 
build them up to this and this is the arches rough paper so they sit quite nicely on there now let me try while this still has some water and it has dried up a little bit more so it's going to grab more of this pigment and just go over it I'm not sure if it's something to do with the paper but it's just not looking great um, at all so here is the swatch I've done for the swatch card this is the gold pearl you can see how different it looks I just can't get it to work here at all and the other one which I was comparing which is this one also from fine tech it's also very streaky compared to uh, the Komarabi so these are made in China and the fine tech are the German brand which are handmade and um, yeah I mean the the thing with the fine tech is that they're probably about three times as more expensive as um, these ones so if you are after some nice metallic paints let me just zoom out a little um, I would highly recommend to get this set versus the fine tag. I love my fine tag um, on other papers, not this one. I haven't actually used it on on the Cardi paper. But on other papers that are cold pressed, it, they look really beautiful. It's the light gold, yellow gold and bronze sort of not really gold but you know beautiful color and then you get the rose gold and a copper with it as well so you have enough metallics and silver of course if you're interested you have enough metallics to work with whereas this is a very specific palette of six it has a nice um variety of golds um undoubtedly so and they're gorgeous especially the moon glow is very beautiful arabic gold they're all very unique and but here's the thing if you're on budget i would highly recommend this one purely because they have a fantastic um, pigment payoff and you could see how easily they were revetable fine tech take a little bit longer to revet and you have to work your brush in however these ones i just sprayed them once and literally gave them a few seconds and they were smooth as butter and quite pretty so yes I'm very happy about these and the way the the way I discovered them was I was binge watching some YouTube videos about metallic watercolors and someone was I don't remember now doing a comparison and these really stood out to me not only because of these two colors but for for their pigmentation and their price so I think I'm not entirely sure these were 30 plus um pounds and these cost me just about 10 or 11 quid something like that and yeah really really happy about the quality of them and um they are gorgeous so the difference here with the fine tag that cranberry color that i was comparing so this one right here it's um it's kind of um it has sort of more metallic in there i hope you can see but it is tricky so this one it does not have as much metallic but it's less tricky this is probably the least um the copper is the least metallic -y kind of shimmer the rest are a lot more shimmery so if i do this you can see they're sort of glistening so that is that um, I might do a very quick illustration if I have time for a separate video where um, I'm going to use these different colors so yes thanks for watching and see you soon